I feel like dancing alone in my room. Here I'm the genius of mirrors and cells. I'm building a dance floor with my favorite books. I'm closing the window to my daily concerts and the cactus you send will keep me in check. And every time I move, it will blossom in the room and in my head. Oh, I feel like dancing. Like smoke in the air. No one is looking, so we'll make it look better. And the lights will be matching the shirt that I wear. And music will reach them if they happen to care. The cactus you send. Will keep me in check, and every time I move, it will blossom in the room and in my head. All these memories return when I spin like a bird in the genderless roulette, dancing wildly. By myself. Oh, I feel like dancing alone in my room. Here, there's no wrestling. With petulant views, and the man and the woman are sharing the grudge, and migrants from Yemen have spring in their hearts. The cactus you sent will keep me in check, and every time I move. It will blossom in the room and in my head. Every time I move, it will blossom in the room and in my. Every time I move, it will blossom in the room and in my head. So that was "Feel Like Dancing," another massive track of 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 the year of the rat. Let's tell us a little bit about the、uh, more about the creation, the concept behind the year of the rat, how it all came about. Well, it all started with a couple of songs, and "Feel Like Dancing" was one of the first songs that I wrote. It was in the in the in the beginning of the pandemic when we were all alone, and、uh, a friend of mine, Ned Cartwright, I spoke about. He sent me a poem from William Carlos Williams, and it talks about a man who is like trapped in his home. And he dances half naked in the mirror, and then he says to himself, "Here, no one can can say that I am not the genius of this household, because <laughs> there's no one to deny it."、And、it's a very funny and beautiful poem, and it talks about how the artist sees himself, no, and feel like dancing is about like playing music, singing, doing poetry, even when no one is looking,、mm -hmm. or even when no one is is watching, no.、Mm -hmm. So the idea of the whole、uh, album of the year of the rat is like you've got to do this creation, even if you don't think if you're going to be famous, or even if. You won't get money. You have to do it for the sake of art itself,、no? yeah. and also to to celebrate yourself、uh, even without the social element. No, that's what we all had to learn、mm -hmm. during the pandemic. That you had to celebrate your own individual life as well.、No? And now, and now that it's that it's out there, do you feel that it's, you still have that same sentiment now that you're sharing it with all these all these? No,、people? it's become a different <laughs> kind of song. It's become a song of everyone collaborating and dancing together. I always say before the gig,、uh, before this song, I always say the first person to dance gets a free vinyl, so everybody gets <laughs> up, you know. And then we have a competition to see who the first one dances, and, and it's a it's a joyful song. It's become、mm -hmm. a joyful song, especially when you play with the band, with the percussion、yeah. and with bass, and, you know, and the piano, and it becomes very. 
yeah, very collaborative. Excellent. So, so you've been you've been out playing this song, song live, playing, promoting this album for quite some time. I, I in one of your interviews a few years ago, you spoke about um, a, a festival that you went to play at, and when you guys turned up, you realised that it was actually a competition yeah. to then go on to play the main stage yeah. the following year. Did that all happen? Did it? And it how, how did that go? Because now you're promoting a new album. Of course. <laughs> It was strange things that we didn't expect to have a new album by the time because obviously through the pandemic that was cancelled. We had to wait two years mm -hmm. to go on the main stage. It was an incredible night. It had been one of the most difficult storms of the year. I think it was in November, November last year. And we got there and when we got on stage, uh, Adam had brought out his double bass and the double bass cracked, snapped <laughs> on stage. And I was like, this is going to be a disaster. But actually it rallied us together and we played with a lot of conviction. And there was probably, yeah, 2,500 people by in complete silence. Wow. It wasn't a festival where people were like dancing, it was complete silence. 2,500 folk lovers watching you on a big stage with a big... Wow. Something uh, you hadn't experienced I'd never experienced moment. that yeah. kind of number or that kind of attention. I've played in festivals where there are a lot of people, but you know, it's a bit more like a party, people are dancing, singing, but when everyone's listening to every word. Mm -hmm. And then after the, we finished, there was a great reception. I'd never seen a queue of people lining up to buy one of my records and felt great, let's be yeah, honest. Yeah. I felt like fantastic, <laughs> I want to do it more. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it was a great feeling. So that, that no doubt, being on, that, uh, on the festival circuit, playing these sort of bigger stages has no doubt opened the doors. It's, it's all happened at the right time for you. Yeah, with the new album, we got some reviews that helped us to get festivals. Even GBC footage has helped because obviously we could show what we do with a professional sound and stuff and we've yeah there's a lot of doors being opened through the festivals uh, i was mm -hmm. also contacted by a promotional company that works with folk artists they gave me they're called solid entertainment so they gave me a couple of excellent. gigs a couple of pointers excellent. played with some people who are a bit more acclaimed excellent so yeah it's starting to go well and you've had plenty of, of radio play. Yeah. Uh, you've been played on BBC Six Music, on, on folk-specific shows, on BBC Radio Kent. Yeah. And, I, and I, I saw a tweet or a post on social media that you put up saying um, that um, the song was grateful yeah. for, 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 getting, <laughs> for getting its play. Does this, is this a, are, are you relatively attached to your songs once Absolutely. you put them out there? Absolutely. I was talking about this to a friend yesterday that when you believe in your songs or whatever, you have a responsibility to put those songs out there because if, they, if you don't, they're going to hide in some drawer, no one's going to listen to them. The songs are going to rebel and yeah. come to you at night and haunt you. Why didn't you give me enough attention? Why didn't you put me out there? So I think the songs are more grateful than I, in, in a way, because for me, I'm, I'm more about songwriting. So it's not that I want my, my character or my, myself to be recognized, I'd rather the songs be recognized. So um, before at the end of this first first episode, you're going to come back and play another set for us um, in, a, in a couple of weeks' time. Um, you're going to be finishing the show with one last song. What's that coming up? Silly Old Dreams. This is what we finish most concerts with, and it's a song of a carnival circus feeling. For It's kind of a homage to every artist, painters, poets, and musicians who, who do their job despite not being famous or despite not having money. Doing it for the love of it. Doing the love for the silly old dreams. <laughs> Let's hear it. Romance will change your heart, but ever so fleetingly. Give it 16 weeks and it's back to your silly old dreams. Would you ever give up your sacred shield of poetry? Would the lure of the flame be more than you've been? I showed her my poems And she spat at the laptop screen She said I'm sick of the muse And all of her whims But she couldn't see I was looking for a shortcut 
into eternity how oh, she couldn't see holy words do it for me oh dum da dum da dum my silly old dreams i said dum da dum da dum my silly old dream oh, i said dum da dum da dum my silly old dreams Oh dum da dum da dum my silly old dream She sold her horse to pay for a room for her artistry But all her friends said her songs were like quirky antiques But they couldn't see the pleasures of rolling down past century oh wasting your life in sweet alexandrine so oh, dum da dum da dum my silly old dream i said dum da dum da dum my silly old dream Oh dum da dum da dum my silly old dream Oh dum da dum da dum my silly old dream There are fraudsters in the magazines but the masters of the verse they seem still up for firing poetry and the singing to the industry singing i can be the man i'm meant to be i want to be me with my silly old dum da dum da dum my silly old dream oh dum da dum da dum my silly old dream Was it dum da dum da dum my silly old dream Oh dum da dum da dum my silly old dream Silly old dreams.